Hey everyone, fellow hybriders, infinite energetic beings. This is Ricky from the hybrid community. Welcome to my YouTube channel and we are sending a high vibration impulse to the cosmos. Now if you are new to this channel, we are fulfilling our mission to get together and to raise the vibrations of each other and in turn help send a high vibration impulse to the cosmos. And if you want to identify or see where your vibrations are, I would highly recommend you to take the high vibration assessment quest. The link is in the description box below. We've got hundreds of people who have taken this quest and they've identified what their vibrations are and how to take the next steps to raise their vibrations and completely transform their life. Alright, uh, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube and uh, I was in a bit of a slump in the last three months where I was not working on myself and that is where I thought that I should start to put myself first and raise my own vibrations and then I thought that it's good to document that as well and put it out on YouTube because it's not just going to give you high value content, high vibration content but it is also going to help me inspire to take action and to work on my own vibrations and raise them to the vibrations of love to totally transform my life. Now fellow hybrators, how many times has it happened that you wanted to take a resolution or you wanted to create a new habit but you were not able to carry it forward to the way you have liked and that is because we tend to give up on things which we don't really want which we think we want which we think we need to take action upon but uh, we are not really internally from our soul wanting to do that particular activity and that is why we majorly give up on any resolution or any new habit which we really want to take so i've created a five step formula a five step blueprint and i put it on on myself personally and it has helped me create multiple habits over time on top of each other and that is where i thought it would be good for me to share this with you as to how you can follow these five steps and easily create new resolutions or follow through your goals or create new habits which is going to radically transform your life. So without further ado, let me quickly begin with step number one and that is to become aware of your body. Now a lot of choices which we take tend to happen with a lot of external factors affecting our own decision making and we tend to think a lot of things from our mind instead of thinking it from our body or feeling it from our body because it is extremely important to align our body along with any intended activity which we want to perform and that is because your body is going to help you perform that activity and it's not just your mind or your thoughts with something which you really want. So it is extremely important to align with your body and to become one with your body and to see how your body is responding to different stimuli from the environment and how it is reacting at different stages because that is something which is going to really help you stay on course and stay on track to smash that goal or to really take action on any resolution which you intend to create. Now one of the few easy ways to connect with your body is to start meditation as a daily practice. If you want to start meditation consistently, uh, I would recommend you to check out my days 11, 11 minutes meditation challenge. I would leave the link in the description box below. Anybody who's new and who's wanting to start meditation daily consistently, I would recommend you to click that link and check that out. But yes, along with meditation, we also have and some other spiritual things like uh, doing yoga or to practice eating healthy food because the more you connect with your body the easier your life is going to be the easier your decision making is going to be and it is going to really help you in a lot of ways apart from just creating good intentions for your future the 
second step i would say after we connect with our body is to identify what your current life choices are now i would recommend you to maintain a weekly log and to record activities which you perform on an hourly basis now this doesn't have to be small activities like brushing your teeth or things like that but what i would really want you to do is on a 2 hour time frame uh, see what you're doing 80% of the time because most of the time when we try to create new habits or set new intentions it is to replace the present activities with a new one so once you identify what your current activity is only then you will be able to replace that with a new intention of intended activity which you would like to perform which is going to change your life so if not a weekly daily log and if you are like a hustler or if you want to really hustle and smash that uh, goal right from the start right from today's then i would seriously recommend you to at least uh, maintain a daily log or uh, a log of your day's activities and see what you're doing at each and every time period and interval because that is where you'll pick those intentions and place them in that specific time period right now the third one is where most of the people start that is to just think about a resolution and start acting upon it so only after you've done the first two steps that is where you can uh, push yourself to set new intentions and to create new habits on this new year or any any specific time which where you feel that you need to create a change in yourself and where you need to create some new habits to change your life so the third step would be to think of the ideas and to think of thoughts which you want to change in your life and that is where you set the intentions now something very important in this third step is to identify your thoughts and your ideas and then see how you feel about that now that is where aligning with your body or becoming aware of your body comes into picture and you need to really understand that it's about how you feel doing a certain thing because if you're not going to feel good about certain thing and if it's only coming because of certain external stimuli or from external sources as something which you really want to do that you're not going to take that forward because it's not something which is coming out from your soul so after you identify a thought which you want to change or identify a habit which you want to create align with your body become aware with your body and see how that makes you feel if that makes you feel good and if it makes you feel inspired excited to do then that is something which you need to pursue but if it is not going to make you feel good if it is feeling a little heavy for you to take it forward or to drag it then that is something which is not for you push that aside you're anyway not going to follow up with that now another thing which i want you to do is to go as deep as possible and uh, not just be uh, very broad in terms of your ideas or in terms of your resolutions which you want to change now one example would be that uh, let's say i want to improve my diet from today or from tomorrow and i want to work on eating healthy now this is a very broad statement for your own understanding and your body's understanding because what you need to do is really internalize any intention or any thought which you really want to perform over the next period of time so i would really want you and like you to get as specific and as detailed as possible as to what intention you're trying to change or what new habit you're trying to create now how i would put it as is like i would like to eat healthy by drinking wheat grass every alternate morning now that is how specific i want you to be and after doing that i would also like you to log in and keep a record of every alternate days where you've had wheat grass and how that has made you feel now this is going to help you identify if you really want to carry it forward on a long term interval long term basis because you might give up wheat grass after let's say 3 weeks because you don't like the taste but where it has really helped you is to create a new habit 
of eating a healthy food so you can always replace wheat grass with something else like a very sweet smoothie if you're a if you like sweets and if you like to have some delicious smoothies for yourself so that is where you can change and really tweak your intention a little to adjust your own body and how you feel about it because that is going to make you feel fantastic trust me now after we have done that uh, i would like you to take radical action as a fourth step and to keep acting on the intentions or the thoughts which you had set because that is going to amplify your energy and you're going to feel so good after you perform the actions and take that action and see yourself achieving everything which you had set out because uh, every thought needs to be backed up by radical action and every every intention needs to be backed up by action because that is where you move your energy and that is where the real uh, energy multiplication or the amplification of energy happens and that is something which is going to make you feel so good about yourself and that is where you would have definitely transformed your life already now what i want to also tell you guys is that one small change in your lifestyle or one small habit leads to a very cascading effect and all the good things keep attracting to your life and once you follow this uh, it just becomes automated into your own system and then you can easily pick out things which really make you feel good or throw away things or push them aside if they do not make them feel good about yourself so that is how i change my new habits and that is how i develop new intentions and take them forward and i would really love to hear from you guys i would like you to comment as to what new thing you are going to change about yourself and let us keep ourselves accountable both of us and see how it takes us along and see if it has helped you to develop a new habit which you definitely want to create now another thing is another reminder which i want to give you is that uh, i would really like you to subscribe to my channel because i would like to uh, deliver and put in more some valuable content and if you feel that you've had value from this video then i would definitely want you to subscribe and hit the bell button as well so that you're notified whenever i send a video of high vibration content now the third thing is that i would like to follow this up with my own plan and uh, i would document myself so that you guys can see how i am going about uh, creating new intentions for my own life and uh, how i would be doing one activity and seeing how i go forward for 11 days so i would love you to stay connected to my channel and to see how we can together change our life and transform our life towards a high vibration lifestyle right uh, thank you so much i really appreciate you if you have watched the video till here and uh, i really appreciate all the subscription buttons being smashed and uh, also the like button being smashed so i would just like to conclude by saying that uh, uh, the five step formula to create any new habit is to first align and become aware of your body and the second one is to identify what your current or your present habits are and what you do every day the third step would be to see all the new ideas or see how you feel about any new intention which you want to take the fourth step is to take radical action about this intention and to create a very positive change and the fifth one is to wait i think i messed up uh, all the numbers the fifth one is how you uh, take radical action the fourth one is how you feel third one is to think about new ideas second one is to identify your current life choices and the first one is to become aware of your body i wish it was that simple but yeah it is so remember everyone anything which creates distance anything which creates separation or anything which encourages competitiveness is a fear-based frequency lower vibration fear-based frequency whereas anything which promotes togetherness anything which promotes wholeness or anything which promotes oneness 
is a higher vibration frequency of love. So I request you all to promote togetherness. I would request you all to promote wholeness. I would request you all to promote oneness and create a high vibration space around yourself. This is Ricky signing off from somewhere in India. All the love, joy, peace, abundance and happiness to you. Namaste.